Transcript, Representative Nancy Mace on Face the Nation, October 8, 2023. CBS News. Sunday, October 8, 2023, at 10:10 10 a.m. CST 9-minute read. CBS News. The following is a transcript of an interview with Representative Nancy Mace, Republican of South Carolina, that aired on Face the Nation on October 8, 2023. Margaret Brennan, last week, eight House Republicans joined by a unified Democratic caucus voted to reject Congressman Kevin McCarthy from the position of Speaker of the House. A historic first. One of those Republicans, Rep. Nancy Mace, joins us this morning from Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Good to have you back with us. Let's go straight to the news. You had said to the Wall Street Journal, the reason you voted down McCarthy was because promises you were made were not kept. You've been working very hard on very specific issues for a very long time. When you shake a hand, make a promise, you ought to keep it. What specific promise did he fail to follow through on? Ari Nancy Mace, well, first of all, he made a promise to our country that he would follow the law and present a budget and 12 spending bills. There's a law from 1974, the Budget Impact and Control Act, that says we were supposed to do that. But Congress always manufactures that emergency every year, like they don't know that September 30th exists. And they skirt the law with CR's number one, I want a speaker who will keep their word and who will get the job done. Secondarily, I was very public about working on many different issues, whether it was trying to get a balanced budget amendment on the floor, working through the Ethics Committee to come up with a process when we are trying to get people off of committee that they are allowed due process that is vetted via the Ethics Committee. I've been working on women's issues. I've been working on gun violence issues in our communities, and I had his pledge of support on many of those things, but this is bigger than just me and him. This is about the future of our country and mortgaging our kids' future and I'm unwilling to do that.